Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. This is Cookie with Auntie Bad Guys. Thanks for joining me today. Alrighty guys, listen, for today's video, it's a nice, quick and easy little breakfast muffin deal that, um, that I see that's going around. And I decided to just, you know, join the fun and make one as well. And I have all of my ingredients that I'm going to be using to go in. And of course, you're gonna need some eggs, some cheese, some tortillas for your bread, and um, I want to put in some turkey sausage in mine. And these are my seasonings that I'll be using to put into my eggs. This is what I normally put in my eggs, okay guys? But now listen, I don't eat the yolk in the egg when it's, uh, unless it's boiled. For some reason, the texture in a boiled egg is totally different from if you're frying it or, you know, whatever. So I'm, I'm gonna make some regular and then I'm gonna make some with just white with the uh, with the whites of the egg only. Alrighty guys, listen, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. It only takes a moment of your time and it doesn't cost you a dime, guys. Alrighty guys, I appreciate you being here today. Now let's get into this video. Alrighty guys, so listen, first I need to get my sausage cut up. I wanna cut these in really thin, really thin slices. Okay guys, I've already started cutting up my sausage. I wanna get them thin because I wanna use uh, you know, more than one or two pieces when I put them in the, uh, into my, uh, into my little breakfast things. muffin pan for this meal okay so I have two containers here and I'm guessing okay I have a bag of 10 I'm not gonna make 10 I think I'll make six okay I'll make six okay so now this is how I rationalize out my eggs when I mix it when I'm making mines which I'll put mines in a smaller bowl this is just the yolk I mean I'm sorry the whites Separate the eggs first. Make sure you don't get no shells. And normally, well not normally, but sometimes I'll put my yolk in my son's eggs when I'm cooking, when I'm cooking eggs. And so I'm only going to use about two eggs for myself. And I'll, I'll use my, oh, these eggs are big. Is I'll just do two eggs in here. Okay, that should be enough. It should, but yeah, I don't know. All right, so now I'm going to season. Now this is how I normally season our eggs. No different, you know, whatever. Some people just use salt and pepper. You know me, always gotta be special, gotta be different. Pepper. And you know, I put parsley in everything. I like parsley in my eggs. And with this dish, I think it'll be really pretty. All the different colors. Okay. Then we're gonna get us a whisk. And I like a little milk in my eggs. Make them fluffy. And I'll make his fluffy too. You don't need very much, just a little. He normally don't like milk in his eggs, but he's not standing over me watching me, so. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that I combine my egg and milk. Really good. Now my oven is already preheated at 350. Like I 
said, this is a quick and easy breakfast. I wanted to share with you guys. Come on. I don't want to. Okay. Okay, guys. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my cookie pan. And I'm going to spray this baby down because I'm only going to do about six. And then next, who's the winner? I need to show you guys. Oops, that stuff in the way. Okay guys, listen, stay to the end of the video so you can see how I actually ended up redoing two of them. Because I, I mean, I was satisfied with this, but I knew I could do it. The way that I was thinking in my head, it just was not working here. So I kind of redone it and I want you to just stay around and check it out the easy fix I just have to unroll them so tightly and kind of make sure that they stand up because I want them to look like look like a flower you know what I mean so therefore you have to kind of and like I said once I get once I get the I think these two I cut yeah okay these look better cut all you have to do is just kind of open them up a little bit more where they're not so tight You know, when I, when I, the idea that I had to make these was uh, not that difficult in my head. You know, it didn't appear to be that difficult, but I mean, you know, you make it work. Once I get the eggs in them and put the sausage around in them, yeah, it'll work. Okay, so that's, okay, so here's another one that I cut. So you want to kind of fold this one up in here like this, pop that baby down in there like a little cup, somewhat. And you know, since we're dealing with soft dough, you can just kind of press down on it and it'll, it should come out okay. Alrighty guys, so we got one more to go. One more to go. Slice this on the side, make a little slit there. And then we're gonna put this we're gonna turn it around like this, more so like this. You know, as long as you get it twisted in there where it'll fit. I don't want it to look like a cup though. I want it to look more like a flower. More like a flower, guys. We'll see how they turn out, okay? We'll see how they turn out. Yeah, because the smaller ones look better to me than, these, than the big ones. So I'm just gonna cut, so therefore, that means I'm gonna have more than just what I have here. And I'm gonna push this up in the middle and kinda swing it around to make it, oh yeah, see, that looks much better. More so like a cup than, than what I was trying, what I was aiming for. I need a deeper, um, I need deeper, deeper muffin pans for that. What I'm, what I was angling at but it's gonna still work. We're gonna cut this big baby. Cut these in half, or either get the smaller ones. If you can get the smaller ones, then, you know, I think the smaller ones would be better. Put you up in there. Yeah, they look much better. But I want it to stay rolled. You know what? I always have toothpicks on hand. I'm sorry y'all I just like the stuff to look a certain way you know if I want triple triple or four more kind of rolls in it then that's what I gotta do I gotta do what I gotta do you can always take the toothpicks out okay push that up in there and then we're going to fold that like that and then get us a toothpick to hold it Hold it how I want it. Bada bing, bada bang. Okay, that one's fine, that one's fine. This one, I need to, just put a little too thick in there, just like that. Okay, those are fine. Okay, now we're gonna 
gonna take this one. Y'all already know this is gonna be this difficult. If I just had had some deeper pans, it would be all right. But that's all right. I'm gonna make it work. Oh, I done punched a hole in my, in my thing here. My glove. Okay, now next, I want to put See, I wanted to put sausage around it in the in the petals of it, like. Uh, okay, let's put the egg in first. Let's put the egg in first. Okay, we're gonna start off with mines. Let's see, do we need to stir it anymore? Make sure the egg and milk need to separate. Okay. And we're just gonna pour, because you know. The eggs will puff up once they cooked. Once they're cooked, okay, I'll put another one in this little one here. Alrighty, and then see, I'm going to put some of the sausage around like this. I'd sprinkle some more parsley on top so those colors see this is oh man you know you got the you've got your tortilla shell then you have your egg which is yellow and you have your sausage and then you have your cheese and why not top it off with a little parsley flakes just a little so when the cheese melts and it comes on top you know come on get out of there you don't need a lot, just a little, for a little color, you know? Okay, guys, let me put it on that one. All right, guys, so we're gonna pop this in the oven, and 
I'm gonna, it's, like I said, I already have my oven preheated at 350. So we're gonna pop it in the oven for, we're gonna check for the first 15 minutes to see what happens. Cause it doesn't really take egg long to cook in the oven. All right guys, so listen, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now listen. Okay, the video that you just saw of me making the little uh, breakfast taco things, you know, I just still had a question about it. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to make two more with this idea that I had, okay? So I still have sauce, and another pack of sauce that you left. And then I also have um, more, I have more of everything left. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to recreate so that I know that I can make it look the way I want. Now they came out okay, but listen, there is a certain way that I like for things to look when I cook them, and it didn't look like how I wanted it to look like. So I believe I know where I made my mistake at. So, so that when you make yours, they can come out to look even better. Okay, so I'm only gonna cut up a few pieces of sausage to go in here. I'm only gonna use one egg, and I'm gonna use one shell. Cut the shell in half. Okay, since this will be for me, you know I don't eat the yolk in my egg, like I stated earlier, so I'm just gonna use the whites. Okay, and use the whites in this. We're gonna trash this, trash this yolk. Get my milk. Just like before, add a little milk into mine so it can be fluffy, nice and fluffy, y'all. Then I'm gonna put my seasoning that I normally put in my egg, which is a little seasoning salt, a little garlic powder, and some parsley flakes. Okay, now I'm gonna whip this up. My oven is set at 350, okay. So we are ready to go. So now I know, like I said, they came out, I felt like I struggled with that. And I, you know, I just don't like that. I don't like for nothing to overtake me like that. So I was thinking, I said, okay, you know what? I think I know where I went wrong. Pay attention. Get your pans. Can y'all see me? Okay. And move this out your way. Okay, you get your cooking pans. Okay, set that to the side first. I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself, y'all, because I'm excited how I figured this out, which I should have caught it. I didn't catch it until after I had made those. We're gonna take our two shells. Bring it up just a little bit. Just an inch a bit. Okay. We have our two shells. And instead of, you know, once you, same, same process, fold them like how you want them, but we're gonna cut off the tips so that we don't have a tip. Cut off maybe less than half. Then we're gonna pop it down in our, um, we're gonna pop it down in there. I'm still gonna use some, poop, some toothpicks because I want it to look like a flower, okay? So now that we got that part where we know how it will, it will stay and lay, because the bottom is where the egg is going to be. Okay, so you just take the toothpick and just take it through like that. Because I want to have, you know, the, still have the little the little petals around it. Okay, let me pull this up some. It's interfering with that. Okay, like that. Same process with the other. Take and roll, wait. Rolling it wrong, I got to, see, I, I do that sometimes. I overthink a lot of things, it's okay. Then we're just gonna roll it like this. Same concept like before. We're gonna cut off this end. We're gonna get our toothpick, we're gonna get the toothpick. Toothpick, we're gonna stick, stick our toothpick just like this. and just put it up like that. And you're gonna set it down in there like that. Okay, and next, which I should have did this before, we're gonna place our sausage around in here like this. See, cause I wanted it to look a certain way before 
And I mean, uh, it looked okay. I mean, you know, it was good. My son ate it. It was really good, but you know, I like for stuff to look a certain way. So I'm gonna put a sausage around like that. Same concept with this one. We're going to take our sausage and layer it around. Come on, loosen up a little bit. Got that little tight, but that's all right. It's okay. It's all right. And take and put these around in here like this. Okay, so there's three sausage each, in each one. And once I put my egg yolk down in here, I'll place another one. You know what, I could just place, oh, I forgot to spray. I have to spray, I have to spray. Okay guys, it should look something similar to this. Okay, you got the egg down in there. Now, we're gonna place this in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes, let that egg cook, let the sausage cook. I want my tortilla to be a little toasty. And then we'll be right back. Why didn't y'all tell me I didn't put my cheese on it? Y'all should have reminded me. I don't like a lot of cheese, so we're gonna sprinkle some cheese in here. Like this on top, down in there. Okay, you don't have to put very much. If you like cheese and you put more, if not, then you don't have to. Then we're gonna also put in some more parsley on top. Okay, now we are ready for the oven. Okay guys, I'll hey be guys, right back. So listen, this is how I wanted them to look more so because the, when you don't cut the dough, it was a lot of dough, okay? There's a lot of dough, so I wanted to remake this. And I think it came out really cute with the sausage in the middle. So guys, yeah, so listen, when you get ready to make them, you can eliminate a lot of the dough on them by cutting them in half and then cutting them, and then cutting them again. Because you don't want the dough to overpower. I was just so in such a hurry to make them that I just, then I just lost my whole train of thought, my, my whole train of thought as to what I wanted to do because moving too fast, guys. But this is how I wanted them to come out. You know, just little nice little dessert things that you could have. Alrighty, guys. So listen, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you decide to make these, then you know what? You have two ways you can make them. You can leave them, you can leave them whole without cutting them where they're much smaller, or you can size them down like this, guys. Whichever way works for me, works for you. Okay, guys, and here they are. They turned out really good. You can see the egg at the bottom. They kind of help hold them up once they were done, guys. Ooh wee! You can throw your little hot sauce on there. That's if you if you like hot sauce on your eggs, guys. But listen, if you enjoyed yourself with me today, and if you like how I do what I do, when I do what I do in my kitchen, guys, subscribe to my channel. Just don't watch me. Subscribe to my channel and share my channel with your family, friends, guys. And until next time, bye.